guys. That was so fake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's up, it's Joe, and I am back with another video. So y'all, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved my clear skin. Okay, but I, I'm breaking out right here, but I'm gonna try to tackle that tonight because they just appear out of nowhere. I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved my clear skin because my skin was horrible, okay? Hashtag horrible, that, mm -mm, it wouldn't fly with me. As you can see, it's doing pretty good now. So I'm fresh out of the shower, y'all. That being said, my skin is like so dry. So that's why it kind of looks ashy right now because my skin is like literally so tight and dry right now. I can barely speak. But I wanted to show you guys what I clean my face with. So for a facial cleaner, I use the Real Black Soap. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't use the, um, the, that fake stuff that you bought like that you know that smooth black charcoal black soap no i don't use that i use this african black soap and i use that for my face neck and chest to clear everything all that hyperpigmentation and stuff up because sometimes you know as dark skinned people well i, I guess white, white people get it too i don't really know but i'm speaking for you know black folk we get hyperpigmentation and that helps clears all those dark spots and marks up Honestly, y'all, I want to see our room. I cleanse my skin, remember. Um, I'm going to go in with a toner. For a toner, I use the Thayer's, Thayer's, I don't know how to pronounce it. The Witch Hazel Rose Petal. This kind, you know, everyone raves about this toner because it works magic. It clears the marks as well. And if you are a person who is like me and you have like the deep pores, big pores, this helps, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Minimize the size of your pores or the appearance, at least. Oh yeah, I didn't get it this. Oh. Okay. Yes, lower. Now you see, do you see the difference that it made? Like look at my skin before and after. Oh, Lord, my skin was thirsty. I'm already knowing. Hey, we're done. Look disgusting right and i told y'all i just cleaned my skin why is all that still on there so now that we went in with a toner you go in with a moisturizer now honestly um i used to use this the cetaphil moisturizing cream but i kind of stirred away from it after the fact that i don't use the whole thing but it's still a little bit in here when i broke out recently i started using like cocoa butters and shea butters and so usually what i would do I would either add the natural shea butter or the cocoa butter formula on my face. But y'all, I got this new vitamin C serum that I want to try. Uh, it's from True Skin. It's Amazon's choice. And I wanted to try it really, really bad. So I'm about to do that now. Actually, I'm just going to be doing a patch test tonight just to see if it works. And if it works, I'll keep y'all updated. I'm going to use it on this one. But um, what I wanted to talk, ooh, is vitamin C supposed to be this cloudy, bro? I don't know, y'all kind of throwing me true skin. I can't, I can't give an honest review yet because I didn't even test it out, so we gonna see. Um, but yeah, y'all, have y'all been keeping up with uh, Diara and Ken's mess? Okay, so would y'all consider what he did cheating? Because what he did was, and then he, okay, we're going to get there. So, um, he got caught on video rubbing a girl's butt. Um, that was not his girlfriend of like years. And yeah, basically it was a video that got out of him. As you know, they are a known YouTube couple. Every couple expired to be like Dierra and Ken for life, whatever. But, um, that just goes to show y'all like people can have everything and just like fuck up mess up what they have because they look like they were doing good and we look like they were going to be together forever but you never know to be honest and for a moisturizer i'm going to use the cocoa butter formula with the vitamin e the um daily skin therapy this is what it looks like i almost forgot so this is what i also use okay so when i do have breakouts like that i use this aloe vera and i usually put it on my face 
and sleep with it on. I never had like a problem with sleeping in my aloe vera. So I'm, um, the reason why I'm not gonna put any on my face tonight is because I put some on earlier this morning. And yeah, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But this is what I use 100% y'all. If y'all don't got an aloe vera plant in your yard, you can always go to Publix or Walmart to pick up some aloe vera. But anyway, so um, what I was saying. Oh, so him and the girl posted like a um, story apology talking about how um, they didn't know each other before the video or how um, basically trying to insinuate that they didn't know each other before the um, video occurred. She just approached him and was like, oh, I'm a fan, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And he hugged her and rubbed her butt, but it wasn't nothing like that because they didn't have any relations before or after that video. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all think that's the truth? Because honestly, if I was the era or if, if I was me and I have a boyfriend, you better not put your nasty hands on nobody's butt because now you're in a dog house. Like, it's over at that point because how would you feel if I go around touching other dudes, you know? little parts so don't don't do that don't don't dish out what you can't take so yeah honestly if she stays with him after that <clears throat> oh no yeah you never know what people be going through though but still I, I don't think i could do that one you gone boy but yeah anyways um after the toner it's always good to uh go in with a serum or a moisturizer just so your skin will not be dry and after um i apply my moisturizer i just go in with my jade roller and basically do under my eyes and i try to do my chin they say the jade roller is for blood circulation and stuff like that puffy and also i think this is good to help your skin take in the moisturizer yeah See, my um, skincare routine wasn't that much at all. Honestly, all less is more. People be prowling all those products on their face and it is really not necessary and I hate that. Also, if you, you have to um, know your skin because what works for me might not work for you, but it never hurts to try because I had to go through a trial and error period as well. We're trying to figure out what works for my skin. But I found what worked, y'all, because wake up from all this yeah and that is basically it but yes y'all let me know what y'all think about that De'Aaron and ken situation because honestly i don't know what to believe and we i have not seen a statement or heard anything from De'Aaron. honestly i don't blame her i don't know how i feel about that and the only thing that really got me is why was the girl liking you? okay she said she was a fan so i understand why she was liking you and De'Aaron's pictures on instagram but why unlike them Cause now you look like you getting caught up. You get what I'm saying? Like these people are crazy. I'm so sorry y'all, but yeah. I'm gonna turn my skincare routine into a gossip section, but I really wanted to know because people really is talking about this because they really are hurt about this. That's basically it. So that is the end of this video. I hope I tried to explain everything. I know I got wrapped up in talking about DR and Kim, but we can next time if y'all got any more questions, I'm not I'm gonna try not to do that because I do talk too much. Most of the stuff you can get at your local beauty supply store. Um the true skin, I don't you can get this from Amazon, but yeah. I got all of these products from the local beauty supply store, including the African black soap. So yes, that's the end of this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe or share, you know. And yeah, that's it. Good night. I love you. Deuces.